the Friendship Stop. We are your hosts for today's show. I'm Jackson. And I'm Gavin. And in our show, we want to highlight the students and the work in our audio video production class at the Friendship Ninth Grade Center. So let's get things started with a look at some of the fun projects we have completed. It's been rough. Sales are down. Don't think Ronald's doing any better. Okay. Ronald hasn't really been the same since Vegas. Ronald was creepy at first, but now he's just even worse. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, sorry, did you just open the Where is everybody? I don't know. It's kind of weird. I haven't seen anyone anywhere. Let's do this. Some of them are. Oh. I need to use the brush. All right. They can't get any worse. Something new we are currently learning is how to find, develop, capture, and edit feature stories. And we want to show them off. So let's start with an in-depth look at what happens at Friendship Ninth Grade Center's Spanish One. I am Myra Hook. I teach Spanish to honors at the ninth grade center. I think it's a great way for them to learn more about the culture, about Dia de los Muertos. There is, I think Dia de los Muertos is very popular here in the States, but sometimes uh, the kids don't really know what is it about, and I feel like when they do like hands-on activities, that's the best way for, for them to learn. My name is uh, Marta Carrizales, and I teach Spanish 1 and 2. This project is so important because they're not just getting closer to their loved ones, they're also getting into the culture of uh, Spanish-speaking countries. It's so nice and good to be bilingual, and I think it'll, when they graduate, it will help them a lot. Joshua, we Spanish. Um, I like all the new cultures in the language. It's more different than English. Uh, it's very cool. You get to really find out 
Well, no, I know. You get to see old things that your loved ones like. Or... This is my grandpa. His name is Joe. And he likes to drink Coca-Cola and Whoppers for his favorite snacks. My name is Andrew Gonzalez, and I'm taking Spanish 1. Spanish is interesting. I mean, it's uh, you do a lot in there. You learn about the different cultures, and this project showed. I chose Spanish because that's my family's main uh, language, and I need to learn it. I choose my grandpa because he was not only special to me, but he took care of me while he was sick. And on top of that, he was taking care of more, like more of my siblings. So he was just very special to me. Here's another feature video of a student and the new front office staff. What's your name? Peyton Laxon. I play baseball, football, and track. Baseball coach. Emily Arzaga. I've been here for two weeks. I came from Child Protective Services. <laughs> yes, I got married last month. Let's go back. We have five dogs. Um, we have Nala, Paco. Coco, Mia, and you might ask yourself, how are piercing, hair color, and casual attire distractions for students? Today's episode of the F-Stop will include panel of students discussing these very same questions when it comes to dress code regulations. Due to dress code at the NGC, everyone has that same struggle. Let's hear what the discussion panel has to say. Welcome to today's discussion panel. I'm the discussion leader, and these are my guests. Josiah. Gabriel. Anna. Sasha. As, as Friendship High ninth grade students, we raised many questions for this discussion topic, but the topic that stood out the most was just code at the ninth grade center. Let's talk more about this in detail and see what solutions we can come up with. Our first question is, why is just code such a big deal to our school? Because, like, this generation tries to sexualize or make anything inappropriate, like crop tops and ripped jeans that go up to your thighs. They just see that as a sexualized kind of clothing, and then they focus on that, and then they make fun or do anything to make So do you think that people shouldn't wear those things, or do you think people should just stop make, trying to sexualize? People should learn how to grow up and stop sexualizing everything. Yeah, I think like both, because uh, like, you know, having crop tops and stuff like that is a, you know, not professional. Yeah. Life. I think that you can, girls can wear crop tops if they have like a shirt underneath it, because no one really wants to see like their stomachs or anything, because that's yeah. gross and inappropriate. But I think they should be able to wear them as long as they have something under it. Yeah, I agree. I feel like it should just be worn to a limit, but I also feel like. Um, the principals and stuff see it from a different point of view, and we see it differently. That's why we all disagree with that topic. Yeah. So why do y'all think it's a problem to dye your hair a bright color? Because most people will, like, pay attention to their hair instead of their assignment, and then that will get them distracted long enough so that way they get behind on their work instead of actually doing it. Like, whoop de doo you dyed your hair a color. No one cares. Move on. Yeah, like, that could distract them, but if they're not paying attention to their own work, that's kind of their fault. Yeah. What do y'all think about it? I honestly feel like it's your choice to pay attention or not, but at the same time, I feel like it shouldn't look too crazy because then it's actually a distraction, but I feel like if it's not that much of a distraction, then it shouldn't be against dress code. So like one solid hair color is fine, but like if you have sets of it, like a whole painting. So so do y'all think y'all should be we should be only having natural color hair, or do y'all think we should have colors outside of natural color hair, but keep it to a limit? Like we can keep it to a limit, but like whenever someone overboards like everything, mm -hmm. it just gets out of hand, in my opinion. 
and like I've dyed my hair one solid color, no one cared as much because yeah. it's just one color. Yeah, it's one color. Yeah, it's not distractible. Distraction. I don't think we should allow neon colors because they are really distracting to other people. But like, if someone dyed their hair like green and it was like a light green, it would be okay if it was like one just green because multiple colors, people do get distracted by them, but not as much as like if it was like a neon color. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk a more. Let's talk more about dress code and like piercings and and the consequences about that. So do y'all think that boys should be able to wear earrings? And if you do, why? Most definitely, because like girls can wear earrings, but like it's just earrings as an accessory. No one yeah. like they're the same thing, just different genders. Yeah. Like nowadays, it's fine for men to wear earrings. That's not a big problem. But the school sees it from a different perspective from like their childhood. So then they try to go up with those rules with one gender having earrings. One gender not having earrings. Exactly. Yeah. How do you um, feel about that? I think it's fine. Um, some people here still actually have earrings. Their hair's just covering it. Uh, yeah, it's not really a big problem. I believe boys should have earrings because when you look at it from a boy's perspective, it's like, it's the same thing as a girl, but it's literally, I'm just a different gender. So it's like, what's so distracting about my earrings, but what, but not about her, her earrings or their earrings? I think that some guys use it as a way to like express themselves, which I think should be allowed. But I don't really think earrings are a problem because no one's like really focused like, oh my gosh, that guy has an earring because it doesn't really matter. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I agree because I feel like it should be fair on both sides. Like you said, it's not fair for a girl to be able to wear earrings and the boys can't. It should be equally right for both of them. And I feel like, like Ana said, it's just like a fashion style. So it's nothing that should be inappropriate or against dress code. And the yeah. punishments are even stupider. You get like dress coded or if you refuse to take it out because you're expressing yourself. So, then you, so yeah. do, on, on that subject, do y'all think that we should get like multiple warnings or just one warning? Or what do y'all think about like the warning yeah. system on that? Multiple warnings. Multiple warnings. Yeah. Maybe like two or three. And yeah. Then, and then if you keep doing it, maybe they send you to ISS or something. Yeah, yeah something like that. What do y'all think on that? Um, I think you should have enough chances to make up your mistake. And if you don't, then get disciplined for it. Yeah, I honestly feel like. They shouldn't be too hard on you, especially if you're like new or maybe it's only your first time getting a warning. I feel like they should really give you a break on that. All right, well, that's, that's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching NGC Talk. Until next time, now back to our episode of The F Stop. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our show. If you like our show, be sure to follow us on the web at friendship.tv and Facebook. We will see you on the next edition of the Friendship Stop. See you, see you next time. time. Bye. Bye.